Okay, well, welcome to our first happy hour. We're going to be doing a lot more of this. I'm Casey. This is Randy. I'm Randy. Yeah. We're glad welcome. everybody's here. <laughs> um, a couple of, I hope nobody's having trouble joining with the link that was sent, but a couple of housekeeping things, Mace, for the people who are on. Um, cameras on, mics off. We have some particular parts where people will come up and speak or people will come online and speak. Um, make sure speaker view is on. I think you added that one. Um, and then chat away. We want to know where you're tuning in from today. When people start popping into the video, use the chat system, not um, the unmute button. Um, all right. We're going to kick it off. It is a happy hour, so we're kicking it off with champagne. But we want to make sure our man of the hour is here, Mr. Hancock. You can come off and mute. <laughs> You're allowed to come off and mute. Yes, I'm here. You, uh, you have a happy hour beverage? I do have my happy hour beverage. What is it? We can't see. Oh, can you not see that? It's a, it's a pale ale. There we go. The pale ale. Awesome. A nice beverage for a hot summer day <laughs> all right well, we're gonna pop some champagne on our part and uh rollman's gonna come up and do that for us everybody else here for everybody who can't see on the video <laughs> perfect <laughs> i'm not gonna shake it <laughs> can i just do it like this you just kind of have yeah it I'm might ready. pop off just so you know right the light you gotta twist it a yeah, little. Yeah, twist it a little. That's good. There you go. Here, Andy. Uh, uh, cheers. Yeah, can you pour me some, please? And uh, Randy is going to. Do well, water. I just decided that I knew we were doing champagne, but since uh, Andy was the man of the hour, I went up and grabbed a beer, and so I was going to have a. Uh, a beer with him. So instead of champagnes, I didn't think he was going to have champagne. So cheers. All right. Seeing everybody. Hi, John. Mine's not a pale ale. I chose an extra stout because I figured that fit uh, uh, Mr. Hancock as well. So. All right. Well, with any happy hour, we're going to kick it off with some toast to Andy. What are we celebrating today? Just quickly, um, if you've got my slides there, Mace. Um, we're celebrating Andy. That's a given. He's a top point earner of all time on EE. So that is a big accomplishment. Um, but what we're also celebrating today is what Andy embodies um, in the community, which is mentorship, leadership, um, generosity, all the things. You're going to hear from some other members towards the end. <laughs> towards the end about, nope. <laughs> um about what <laughs> um towards the end about some of just what people admire about andy but a quick toast to him very quickly from randy and i if you've talked to andy at all um mods have heard this randy thomas have heard this a million times if you talk to him he always says it's not the andy hancock show when he's kind of humbly accepting awards but today's kind of the andy hancock show guys um so we're of course we're celebrating the fact that he's conquered the gamification system he's earned just about every certification there is in the books within ee anytime i need to remind myself what those are i just go look at andy's profile because i don't know them um and but again we want to we've talked to andy a lot about this and leading up to it we know that what he truly values within he is the mentorship and helping others. Um, so we're cheersing to that today. Um, points are indicate participation, right? They indicate somebody's level of commitment to the community, what they've done in the community. Mark Wills, if you're on Mark, once told me that points are the currency of EE. So I do listen to you, Mark, sometimes because um, <laughs> I remember that. Um, and I think that's true, but we're celebrating a lot more than points today. Um, and Andy, you've just, you've taught us a lot. You've had a positive impact on people. You teach us what it means to be generous with your time and your abilities and your talents. And I've personally learned a lot from you. So cheers. Here's to Andy. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. And thank you all. <laughs> mm, all right. Good. Go for it. Huh? 
Oh, we do have a swag raffle. Um, Randy is going to this. Yep, this is it. This is what you're getting for your swag raffle. Um, Randy's going to draw names out of a mug here of everybody who registered. And then, Andy, we are going to give you a chance to come on off mute and please explain this photo to everyone. But let's first, we're going to pick two swag winners. I'm going to get my glasses on to make sure I get the right pronunciation. All right. Our first swag winner is Julie Oster. And our second winner, hailing all the way from Canada, Canada. Mr. Philip Elder. Yay. Awesome. Um, well, Andy, we're going to have to come on and explain this image. I'm kind of giving you a hard time here, but. And okay, the image. Um, well, it's it, I suppose really it's a it's a um, it's a little problem I have with people, really. And the way that and it really winds me up the way that people uh misspell vmware it's uppercase v it's uppercase m lowercase where and um many people use all sorts of um permutations of it and it winds me up no end it, also clients and also agencies and everybody else that have been dealing with vmware uh, vmware is a company it's not a product and uh, they've been around for 24 years and it's about right really that people actually got it right and um this really actually hails out to um, uh, uh, an ex-student at the University of Hull uh, called Ed Richmond, and I'm sure he's probably on this call. And um, he's actually part of a group called Freeside, which is a Linux unit group at the University of Hull. And um, it was probably something to do with VMware that we we're actually doing, and it was the way that the students actually were misrepresenting VMware. Um, so... And I think that you suggested, Casey, that uh, it was about time that I actually basically got a mem sorted. And in fact, actually, it was Ed that actually put this together. It's VMware. And somewhere he sent me a mug. I don't even know where it is. Somewhere he sent me a mug uh, for a um, – uh, I, I assume it's him because we actually did a, uh, a Christmas Santa. And I received a mug in the post. Uh, with that very mem graphic on it. So that is actually thanks to Ed Richmond, who actually put that together. And since then, I sort of kind of hijacked that. And every now and again, uh, I post into the questions on EE and uh, and occasionally get told off by some of the mods uh, because they sort of kind of turn around and tell me that uh, sometimes people posting it probably wouldn't understand. So that really is the background with it, really. It's me, red-faced, fuming, uh, getting very annoyed. Uh, people keep uh, misrepresenting uh vmware it's as i said it's uppercase v uppercase m where so that's Thank the story you. behind it appreciate it our mods never tell people off um okay well <laughs> we actually do have another piece of swag for our swag winners but we wanted to give andy a hard time here so we'll be shipping this to you guys um and we'll all be sure to spell vmware correctly um so Next slide, Mace. Again, what we're talking about today, what are we celebrating? What points truly represent in the community? Thinking through, um, for me, what that looks like, thinking through the people in our community that really embody it, have the highest points. Um, what do they do? They're helping others, they're mentoring others, they're sharing their knowledge and experience, and they're leaders within our community. Um, what is your take on that, Randy? What, is, what does that mean to you? Yeah, I think, you know, w when you look at that, I know points have been a big part of expert exchange history, but when you really boil it down to everything, and I know I've heard all the comments saying, ah, oh, points don't really mean that much to me or, you know, and I, and I understand that's, that is a part of what we do, but um, it really is the human element of our community of helping others and, and really being a, willing to take the time and come alongside somebody and help them and show them how to do something, not just give them an answer and say, here, go do this, plug it in. I don't think that really helps anybody. I know that's a very uh, short-sighted, but I think our members have a, a very long-term, long-sighted view of really teaching people. And I think that really speaks to their level of knowledge 
and their level of commitment in whatever industry they're in, right? Whether it's VMware or Citrix or Oracle or some other, um, you know, software that they truly want people to learn and to excel in whatever they're doing. And I think that just displays a lot of leadership qualities when people are at that level and doing that, I think it becomes so much more um, than just the uh, question and answer part of the site. It really does become about leadership. So um, we're very, very grateful to uh, be able to really highlight that here today and not even though I know we're talking about point leader, uh, and Mr. Hancock, but really all these other attributes that I think really come through loud and clear. So, yeah. Absolutely. I um, I took went to our community as well for this on the next slide. I asked some of our members, some of our uh, internal EE people here, what does mentorship mean to you in five to 10 words or less? Some of those responses from Jeff Dake, our director of technology, people to support you, um, from Jonathan Hill. Higglemon, sorry, Jonathan. Um, mentorship is having someone who helps you turn mistakes into experiences, which I think is a really great way to put it. Alicia St. Keys, empowering others by sharing knowledge. And Mr. Hancock himself is active participation in helping and guiding other peers. So that's not, those aren't my definitions. That's not EE's definition. That's what um, our peers in the community, how we define mentorship and leadership. Anything to add to that? No, I think those are. Those are awesome. I'll, I I guess I do have one thing. One time I remember Andy telling us, you know what what you guys have here at Experts Exchange, and I was like Thomas and I think sat up in our chairs and we're like, no, what do we have? What is it? And and it really was true though. But what he said is that people like me will come alongside and hold somebody's hand. That you have all these people here that are willing to do that. That is, I think he used the term, your golden apple. And and it really is true um, that we, you know, these people are willing to come alongside people and be patient and hold their hand. So it, um, yeah, I think it's great. All right, we want to hear about mentorship and leadership from uh, two of our developers. So we're going to switch out some mics here, Michael and Joe. Let me get a thumbs up from my production guy. Something going on over there. All right, come on up. There should be another microphone. Uh, hey, you guys. Gotcha. Cool. Great. Here we go. All righty. Everybody joining today. One. I asked uh, I asked two of our developers to come and talk about this so that you don't have to hear what mentorship is from Casey, the non-technology person. Um, so introduce yourselves quickly. Tell them what you do on EE. Yeah, I'm uh, Michael Arseniega. I'm a front, the lead front-end developer uh, here at EE. I'm Joe Koontz. I'm the junior front-end developer here at EE. <laughs> I didn't actually know that. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Tell us quickly how I think each of you have very interesting stories of how you got into technology, how you got into development. So a little brief overview of what that what that journey looks like for you. Yeah. So uh, a little over seven years ago now, uh, I was a tow truck driver, and I was it was pretty late at night. Uh, I was still on shift, but mind you, uh, while I was at the bar, I was just having coffee. Uh, <laughs> Because, uh, you know, it's one of the only uh, places open that late and got, got started talking to uh, to somebody. And after about an hour long conversation, he's like, uh, hey, you looking for a job? And I'm like, yeah, I think I could be done tow truck driving. Mm -hmm. I, so uh, so then I became a QA uh, tester uh, here at EE. And over the course of a couple of years, you know, I was writing some automation and, and developing and, you know, was able to become a developer um and a lot of that is through through my coworkers and just through their their mentorship and being able to like hey i'm trying to do this thing and at every every single turn they're like oh yeah here let me help you do that and not just you know oh here's this here's this piece of code that's yeah and, you know stick that there but in a, in more of a a way to help me understand. And through that process, you know, I'm able to uh, work my way up and, and you know, uh, lead the team for the front end developers. And, and I really am indebted to the kindness of the others that I work with and their uh, willingness to, to help somebody out and help them understand, which helped me progress my career. 
What about you, Joe? Uh, again, still the strange, like not easily repeatable path. Uh, mine was met a stranger in a video game that healed me more than other people. Uh, let others die for, for me. <laughs> so you had him as a friend and then that just grew and blossomed. And I've always been a nerd, techie, uh, more hardware, but always wanted to get into software, but it's so hard to start. And then he being, you know, a decade in the industry senior he was able to help me just know where to start and answer any questions that i couldn't just easily google uh and progress from there but really the the networking the the group i met one person randomly introduced others and then i eventually move into his house for a couple months here in chattanooga until i get my own apartment uh but it's just meeting people and they all have something to to show you to lead you give you the first step to something new so lead front end developer junior front end developer how does this mentorship relationship work it's more well it's online because you guys are you're in california joe's in chattanooga but on the same team um obviously we're kind of talking about a collaborative community of mentorship and peers collaborating but what does that look like for you guys in your day-to-day -day work well you know in terms of you know lead lead and and junior it's a lot of the times, you know, he's doing something that I'm like, oh, hey, I didn't know about that. Like, tell me how to do that. I think that's one of the things uh, that I appreciate, it, at least uh, in our company, is like everybody can have their their area of expertise and be trusted to go and like figure out something new. And, you know, I can lean on him and go, hey, you worked on that one commit that like introduced this new system. And then I go and and expand upon it or whatever and i'm like i know i can go to him like i'm the lead but you know that, to me that doesn't really mean that i can't learn from him yeah i mean it really just labels there's you know experience knowledge everyone has touched something and, and learned from pain and in a <laughs> in a certain section that they're definitely willing like hey i know how much that hurts here's how it hurts less and to just just how about everyone knows something. That's a good, really good way to put it. Here's how it hurts. Here's how it can hurt <laughs> yeah, less. I like, <laughs> I like that. Pain's I think that's teacher. what Jonathan was speaking to was turning mistakes into experiences. So I, I see these guys on the screen nodding as well, too. I think all of them kind of resonate with that. Um, but thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah. Um, we're going to have... Andy. Um, all right, so we want to dive into what makes Andy Hancock Andy Hancock, right? We know he's a mentor. We know he's a leader. We know he's a VMware guru, virtualization guru. Um, but Andy's going to, or Randy, is going to speak to who is Andy Hancock personally, professionally within the EE community, kind of dive into why we're celebrating him today and what what got him here. Yeah, so great. Um, so I've had the, uh, the experience and the... Um, just a time to get to know Andy as a person uh, outside of Experts Exchange, even though it's been always within Experts Exchange. And I don't know how many of you guys have been on Volley, but um, he and I, will ha we have a little Volley thing. We do just every so often. We go back and forth. And um, once I let him know that I've attempted to keep bees, which if anybody has tried, you realize how hard it is to keep bees. And um, I've really learned a ton about beekeeping through Andy, um, all about Varroa mites and oxalic acid and how to vaporize a colony and kill off the mites. And so it's been actually very educational. And I think, you know, that really uh, is a testament to Andy right there is just he's always wanting to uh, help and let people learn and no thing. So uh, a gardener, um, my wife is a big gardener and we were out in England one time and she went to a conference and I learned all about allotments. And I don't know if you guys know what allotments are, but they're basically uh, a public area in a town where everybody can garden and they each get their own little plot. And so once I kind of learned that and Andy, uh, somehow I learned about his uh, gardening, he actually started his allotment in his town. He was the uh, person that I think really drove that um, to uh, take place. So, you know, it doesn't surprise me that he would also be the one that was going to 
take the lead and sh- take the charge of like, let's get an allotment for our area. Um, coffee enthusiast. I didn't know that when I uh, saw that up there, but it didn't surprise me because I don't really think we know all the things that Andy actually does. I think coffee is what keeps him going. I'm not sure he sleeps very much. Um, you know, that fact that he's also a gamer, uh, I think he does a lot of other things, but you know, for me, um, when I look at all the things, Andy, uh, who he is and what he does, the one thing that sticks out in my mind is, you know, he's very curious just about life in general and how to do things. And then when he tackles something, I think his goal is to be the best at it, right? He wants to do it the best. And um, I think, you know, a testament to him coming on Experts Exchange, when he first came, he had a question, a friend of his, uh, Richard Quadling, who's an expert on our site, um, told him about Experts Exchange. He came on, asked a question, didn't get an answer. And I'm sure it wasn't an easy question. If he came on to ask it, I'm sure it was rather difficult. And so he left. And so I think a few months later, if I have the story right, he came back because Richard kind of prompted him. Did you ever go on there? And he goes, yeah, but I didn't get my answer. And he's like, okay, I'm give it some, give it another chance there. They have some good people on there. So he did. Um, and then he basically wrote his own story on experts exchange uh, being our all time point leader, which again, I think is just testament to who he is as a person. Cause once he undertakes something, he is going to be the best at it. And so um, I am very grateful uh, that Andy has chosen experts exchange to be a, he's a part of us. He's a part of our family. He's a part of our community. Um, he's a true Renaissance man. And I just, I can't um, thank him enough for just the way he conducts himself uh, on our site. And I consider him not just a member of our site, but truly a friend. And I love to speak to him. And I've gotten to know some of our experts in a in a different way than on experts exchange. And I, part of, for me, that's really what experts exchange is about um, getting to know people and who they are uh, at their core. And I very much hope one day I'm familiar with the area that Andy lives in. And I relish the day that I can be out there and actually have a beer with you, Mr. Hancock at a pub uh, and just sit and talk about all things EE and everything else that might come up. So very much looking forward to that. So thank you. Simon, uh, so who's Andy? We, we all know VMware, right? We all know virtualization. Um, and as I, you notice, we spelled VMware wrong on our slides. I'm like, how did we do that? That might have been intentional. Um, oh, okay. But sorry, Andy, I had to. Um, VMware and virtualization consultant, uh, V expert since 2011, VMware expert. The expert pro since 2020. I'm sorry if I got those dates wrong. Um, and a student mentor, which we we stole this picture from um, Edward, who Andy was speaking about earlier. Um, mentoring students again. We don't know how he has time to do all the things that he does. Um, and then let's dive in, Randy. Too. Who is EE or who is Andy in the EE community? Um, member since 2003. He's a topic advisor. He's an editor. So he's always been a leader within the community, um, an EE fellow. And we tried to sum up his awards. How many are there? Did he say? Oh, I think there's 40, 40 plus plus. Yes. Um, so six time author of the year, two time MBE, seven time expert of the year. That was the counting I did on his profile um, and an EE fellow. So now he is the all time top point earner which is no surprise to everybody. Um, but yeah, what is what does that look like for you, Randy, with e, Andy in the community, kind of his awards, his accolades, his accomplishments? I mean, when you first see everything that he's done, it's, it's humbling, right? Um, when you see how many awards uh, he's just gone after and just put his head down. And I know it's not that he doesn't have a lot to do, right? So right. that, for me, it gives me a, uh, a little bit of a, man, I think I can work a little bit harder if I, uh, when I see all that Andy has accomplished. And um, again, we're just very grateful to have him on our site and I'm honored that uh, he's done so many things. Um, I think he's benefited so many people out there in the EE community that they've been able to learn from him. 
And so it's just really a privilege to be able to have awards that we can actually recognize the efforts of people like himself on our site so that hopefully that's just a small uh, token of our appreciation to be able to say, Hey, you are one of the best in the world. I give, you know, the story so often that I feel like we truly have probably the top VMware expert in the world that gets to hang out or that we get to have hang out on our site. And that is truly an honor and a privilege. I want to elaborate a little bit on the community leader area with Andy, because Andy, you've helped us with countless number of initiatives, things that didn't work out, things that did work out. Um, I personally remember a story when I was very, very early on in this job, didn't have a clue what I was doing. And we had a meeting with Andy to talk about a VMware page in particular. And I was so nervous. I was like very scared to talk to Mr. Hancock that I had heard all about. Um, and it went really well. I'm not sure where that project ended up going, but we just, we thank you. The community wouldn't be what it is without your influence, Andy, um, members, as well as our team here. You, we truly think you're an extension of our team. Um, we did ask some people who weren't able to be here today. Um, some of these other members who are here today, Rob Jurd is one of those, our community manager. It's about 1 a.m. for him in Australia. So we put together a little video um, that we will send you, Andy, but we wanted you to be able to hear from not just us, but what your peers admire about you, um, what you how you've impacted people, how you've had an influence. So if we get that queued up. Hi, I'm Rob Jurd, Community Manager at Experts Exchange. Uh, I've uh, known Andy for quite a few years. Um, we've always kind of crossed paths on the site quite a lot, um, as you know, with all the things that he does. I think it's an amazing achievement, so congrats, Andy, uh, that you've now number one. Uh, you've been number one for a while, I think, in my mind, um, just the way you contribute to everything about Experts Exchange. You help us out behind the scenes, as well as all the content that you generate. And uh, I think, you know, you lead by example, and I think it's just such a great thing for all the other members to be able to see what you do. But above all, I don't know how you find the time to do it all, but uh, it's certainly appreciated. So thank you very much. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, Mr. Hancock. Congratulations on your great achievements. It's been a pleasure working with you on and off over the years with Experts Exchange, on Experts Exchange and also sharing a common interest beyond tech in beekeeping. You've always been quite helpful and I really appreciate that. All the best for you in all that you've done and do and in the future, thank you very much for everything. Hi there, I'm Edward Richmond, uh, a computer science graduate from the University of Hull. I'm also a friend and mentee of Andy's, um, probably pain in the backside sometimes as well. Andy, congratulations. Uh, on becoming number one on EE. I know you're thrilled to bits. Um, I admire your outlook on life and your positivity. Uh, you've certainly taught me, um, you know, to move past things and, um, you know, to look on the brighter side of life. Um, and I, I really genuinely uh, love the vibe you give off. It's electrifying and I've never left a conversation yet uh, where my mind hasn't been blown. Uh, so congrats again and I look forward to seeing you soon. Hey Andy, congratulations on uh, reaching the milestone of the most points. I think it'll be a long time before somebody is ever able to even think about taking this over. Although what I admire most about you after getting to know you over the last few years is how well-rounded you are. I think every subject we've talked about, you are a master at that, whether it's beekeeping, uh, coffee, which is what I love too. Um, so it's been nice getting to know you over these few years through our video exchanges. Um, congratulations. Hi, my name is Richard Quadling. Many, many years ago, I introduced Andy to a website called Experts Change. Not too dissimilar to what you see over the side here. Um, for that, I'm sorry. I wear this um, Experts Change t-shirt as penance on a daily basis. Um, I'd like to say massive congratulations, huge congratulations to Andy for getting the highest point earner. Um, not an easy task at all. 
Um, I was also asked, what makes Andy a great mentor? Well, Andy knows stuff. He knows stuff, he knows it very well. But he also knows how to get that information to people who ask him questions, help them learn, help them understand, help them move on. And that's brilliant, that's why. And he's the highest point scorer. So, congratulations Andy, keep up the good work. This is the second time in the event that I'm not allowed to use one of those fancy mics anymore. So can you hear me guys on there? Thumbs up. Great. Um, thanks for putting that together, Mason. I I don't know if Richard Quadling was able to join us today. Um, I think that was up in the air. He was going to speak in a little bit. But to, for me, that was the first time I'd ever met him when I reached out to him to see if he could um, be here, say a few words. So it was just really cool to hear that story um, in particular and his accent, and I'm going to have to send him a new shirt with the updated logo. So, um, yeah, we also asked a couple of our internal employees to kind of testimonials speak volumes. I think it's a, one of the best parts about the community members being able to leave testimonials for other members. As everybody can imagine, Andy has an immense amount of really great ones. So I thumbed through them, asked some people um, who know and love Andy to come read those. So we have Thomas, Jeff, and Jim. I'm not sure if Richard is here or not. <laughs> this is a very emotional day for her. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm like choking on my champagne. Um, yeah, I have a couple mics. You guys can use these. Read some testimonials, say a couple Thanks. words. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome to celebrate with all of you. And I, you guys can't see the crowd out here, but we got all our employees in Chattanooga this week. So thank you. Thanks, Dave. Appreciate it. Um, but yeah, uh, Casey asked me to share some testimonials and I'm like, sure, it'd be better if these guys could read them themselves, but obviously they couldn't be here. So here I am for you. So the first one is from Ben Connor. I've never seen anyone as knowledgeable about a given topic as Andrew or as willing to share that knowledge with others. He is incredible. And the next one I have is from Walt Forbes. Andrew is more than a technical, Andrew is more than technically talented. He is an amazing writer, a gifted communicator of the written word. Pretty much sums it up. Congratulations, Andy. We're pumped to have you here. Thank you. All right. I got a couple more testimonials to read right here. Andrew is always very helpful, sometimes just to point out the obvious and get my own mind ticking away. That's some Jim Nicholas. Andrew, thank you so much. You are always saving me. As always, you know stuff and it's appreciated. There's a lot of testimonials like that. And I just want to say, you know, Andy, congratulations. Um, I knew Guy, our previous top, you know, points experts, and I didn't think anybody was ever going to actually top him. And to just the way you did it to help that many people um, is just amazing. Because that is really what that means is to help that many people. In fact, I think, Andy, I don't know if you know this, but one of my favorite things is, is every time when you make one of those infographics with the people that you helped over the year and you make the bigger names for the people that you helped the most and just showing off, that's always been like one of my favorite things to see. So congratulations and keep it up. Thanks, Jeff. Um, Jim Detman is up. I see him there. And then I'm not sure if Richard's here. Okay. Uh, my name is Jim Detman, and I've been a member of the EE community since 1999. So I've been around a while, and I know what it means to be part of the community, uh, what it means to be a mentor to others, and showing leadership in it. Andy is certainly all of those things, and he gets testimonials on a regular basis like these. From LA Comp Guy. Andrew is a wealth of knowledge and always willing to help. Awesome guy. Stravoli, Andrew is the king of virtualization. And I can't uh, second those sentiments enough. Uh, Andy, congrats on reaching such a, a milestone in your EE uh, lifetime. Uh, the thing is, though, uh, for people that know him, reaching this milestone has never been a goal. Uh, it's simply a reflection of him sharing his knowledge and the willingness to help other people, and he does that with a passion. Uh, many people probably don't know, but 
Andy is also active outside of EE and sharing his knowledge by helping the younger generation at a local college as if EE wasn't enough. Uh, it's, just, it's just who he is and why he's now the top points earner on EE. Uh, I love the way he answers questions too. Always in a professional manner. Uh, and he communicates and he answers the question. Uh, and by that, I mean, he's always on point and he just keeps coming back with comment after comment until it's understood and the problem is resolved. Uh, every expert on the site or every member on the site should just, you know, look at some of his uh, threads and use that as a, an example. Yeah, so you're talking about leadership. Uh, I hope he's part of the EE community for many years to come. Uh, he's a perfect example of what EE is all about. And maybe, just maybe, one of these days, we'll get the answer to one of life's eternal questions, which is, where does he find the time? Because I haven't found the answer to that yet. So, Andy, uh, again, congratulations on a job well done. And here's to helping make the world a better place. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks, Jim. Can they hear me? Um, yeah, we, uh, I think that's something all of us who talk to Andy ask, where do you find the time? He's constantly doing something different and being productive. And like Randy said, it kind of makes you feel like, hmm, maybe I should work harder or have more hobbies. I don't know. Um, I don't think Richard was able to make it today, but he did record that video and we'll get to talk to him later on. So Andy, um, I believe you're up. We we sent him. This is kind of his official presentation of this award and official um, induction into the Hall of Fame, if you will. So we sent him a couple of things and we asked him to be prepared to open those here today. OK, well, here are the boxes. Uh, I assume everybody can hear me. Um, here are the boxes. Um, these arrived about a month ago, and uh, and I've been so intrigued to open them because I can't really – I haven't got a lot of patience when it comes to surprises and boxes and presents and deliveries. Um, so um, <clears throat> these arrived about a month ago, and uh, Casey said, don't open them beforehand. And Casey did actually come up with an idea and turn around and say, can your partner open them and then bring them in? Um, well – the uh, the office here is so full of stuff uh, there is no space so i've had to bring the boxes in and actually basically shift some other stuff that was in here uh, to make space for the boxes so i will open them now live on ee um this is how it arrived by the way i've not opened this um i think customs actually basically searched this possibly for what arrived but anyway so opening 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 live opening live uh, so I'm I'm I'm, I'm uh, intrigued because there's two boxes. I don't know why you couldn't put it all in one box, but anyway. So here we go. Oh, hang on, hang on. What do we have here? Uh, maybe you can't see that. Maybe I'll put it under here. You see it under here. You know, an EE top point earner plaque for the wall. Thank you very much. Hang on, I'll just put that over here. What else have we got here in the box? Well, I think I know what this is. I did actually try. I've been very, very busy. Uh, not enough time in the day. Uh, hang on. I'll, uh, uh, I did try to get all 40 awards, and there are 40, um, out in the apiary um, where the bees are. Okay, so... This makes it 41. Thank you very much. I'll just put that over here. Uh, nothing else in that box. I'll just throw that over there. Okay, so. Intrigue. Box number. Number two. Hang on. I'm going to need to get the scissors. Is 
can see what see what you mean there by Randy saying <laughs> getting bored of emotion boxes off the floor live on EE. Right. Oh wow. Look at this. Oh dear, dear, dear. I'm absolutely oh look at that. A new bee suit. And I could do with one of them as well. Well, what can I say? What can I say, EE? I'm I'm choked. I really am choked. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for all the comments. Um, where do I find the time? I don't know. I have the support of a very good partner. Um, and um, I manage time well. Or I don't manage time well. Um so thank you very much uh, for the presence, the swag. Thank you very much for the award and thank you very much for the comments and thank you very much for this day. Uh, and cheers to everybody in the EE community. As I keep saying over and over again, it's not just about me. It is about the EE community. So thank you very much. Cheers to you all. Thanks, Sandy. <laughs> Thanks, Andy. They can hear me. Um, yeah, we've been, we ordered that bee suit a while back and I had an experience finding somebody who could uh, embroider like a, a badge on it. The woman looked at me like I had three heads trying to bring in a bee suit to get something. <laughs> like, she's like, what do you do for a living? <laughs> like, I, so hopefully um, it's sturdy and it doesn't come off, but it says expert beekeeper. For those of you who couldn't see it, um, our designers worked that up for us. So that was fun. Sorry, it had to go in so many boxes. Um, but yeah, any any last words? There it is, expert beekeeper. Well, the whole thing is like mesh. So you can't like sew something on mesh. There were like two pockets. It's, anyway. a, it's a bee suit. Exactly. <laughs> you got to stay cool. You told me to sew it on there. I was like, oh, goodness the hardest part of my job <laughs> thought, yeah casey was not happy with me when i came we were like what if we did this and it's like what if you did this yeah. <laughs> what if you do this and send it to me i'll ship it um but yeah thank you andy thanks for everybody for joining today um any last words randy and then we're going to kind of queue up some things that are coming in the community that we've got coming over the next few months yeah i just uh, again wanted to say you know thank you so much uh you know, Jim and you guys all coming online, it just, uh, again, just shows you how strong our community is to say thank you to Andy and take time out of your day um, to do this. And I just, I can't say enough um, just how proud I am of our community and the people who are here um, that are willing to share their knowledge and their expertise and just take the time out of their busy schedule every day and to collaborate with people and to um, to just mentor people. So uh, thank you very much to all of you. And Mr. Hancock, I'm, I, can't, I don't know what to say. I, you're amazing. So congratulations. Thanks, Randy. Um, all right, so a couple of things coming up. I think Mason has a slide for you guys. Um, we wanna start just kind of announcing things that we've got. We've got a lot of things in the works. Um, I'm gonna actually do the second one first and then i'm not sure if scott's still here but we were going to put you on the spot scott to come on and kind of explain what you're working on with your podcast um but the thing on the other side of the screen our next virtual event is going to be a launch party um for our first release of our navigation update that's what we're calling it um and that will be in august 2022 and we're really excited about that there's been a ton of work going on behind the scenes um, from the community, but also with the help of our community leaders, like our mods and our TAs. And so we're really excited to actually launch that and start getting some feedback and seeing the engagement and everything on site. So look for that for communication. August, 2022 will be our next virtual event. Um, Mason is approaching me. So I also think Scott Bell, if you're there and you can unmute. I don't know, I didn't see him. He might not be there. Um, okay, just really quick. If Scott's not here, I just wanted to say I'm Mason. Um, I'm our podcast producer. And I don't know if you've seen our emails, but we are really pushing. Hopefully you've seen our emails. Don't unsubscribe from the email list, um, <laughs> please. 
Uh, but we're really pushing a podcast production initiative amongst our members. And Scott has really taken uh, a charge on that. And his podcast, Small Enterprise, released today. So this morning, hopefully you got the email. But if you didn't, you can navigate over to the podcast zone on EE and listen to his first episode. Um, and I just wanted to give him a put here in front of the community because he did an awesome job with that. And he's been working his butt off behind the scenes on it. It's not an easy thing to do. So uh, go check that out and support him. And if you want to host your own podcast, send me an email, send me a message on EE and we'll work on it. That's it. Thanks, Mace. Um, Alicia said Scott is here. Okay. Well, come on, dude. Scott I'm doesn't here. typically have a problem coming <laughs> off of mute. Come on, Scott. <laughs> I don't shut up. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Yeah, tell us about it. Well, it was a little nerve wracking at first what to do. And I, um, but I've always liked talk. Like I used to be in sales and I'm doing what I'm doing, talking to people about what works, what doesn't work. And it's a good conversation. This last first one with, with an old friend of mine, Bill. And I saw on Facebook, he said, I'm not in the, he's a, he has a OxyFresh uh franchise where he car does carpet cleaning and he says i'm not in the carpet cleaning business i'm in the um service business and he's just passionate about service and that uh that came through and i've i really had a good time catching up and talking with them and i've got a few others under my belt that uh uh mason's been very helpful in producing all this stuff and and coaching me along and it's uh it's gonna I think, an exciting adventure that i want to continue Thanks, Scott. Um, yeah, and just adding another way for you to be able to help people, I think, too, is awesome. Another content type outside of Q&A and everything that you already do within the uh, community as a mod, as a as an expert contributor. So we're looking forward to it. We can't say we've listened to it yet, but we will. <laughs> um, so yeah, thanks, everybody. Thanks for being here. Cheers. Is thanks for everybody it? online. Is that a wrap? Yeah. I know All right. You can't Thank see you, everybody, audience. for joining us today.